Hello guys, so uh, welcome to the part 2 of the bubble shorting. In part 1, I have explained that how to do the bubble shorting manually and how it works and how many uh, how iterations I have to follow to do the bubble shorting of an array element. Now in this part 2, I am going to write the Java logic to perform the bubble shorting on any uh, array of the integers so for that I am going to take that uh, same element and then we'll see it if it is giving the output is like this okay so I'm going to switch to my Eclipse in this my Eclipse first I have to create uh, one array so So I have this array. So first, uh, I'll uh, I'll count the length of this array. So the length will be number dot uh, length method. So the length always will be the uh, uh, how many uh, elements we have in this array. So first, second, third, fourth, fifth. So the length will be your so uh, what is the length for this array I'll uh, show you that that is very important to understand the index number and the length so length is 5 because we have the 5 element in this array ok now <coughs> I'm going to use the for each loop to uh, print this uh, number correct so <coughs> number is already defined and i'm going to pass this array this, this is the for loop for each loop this is not a uh, for loop so here i'm going to print the uh, number and okay so before shorting so this is if i run this program then i will uh, get before shorting so i don't want the ln so again i will run and i will get 9 <coughs> so after element we need some space so if I run so 9 5 7 6 I have this before shorting now I will uh, write the logic for this uh, bubble shorting so for that what I have to do I am taking the one for loop in this for loop I am taking this one element int i so in that I am going to start that this for loop will control the iteration. So this for loop will control the iteration. So how many times iterations I have to do? Four times iterations I need. So the iteration will go from 0 to <coughs> length less than length and i plus plus this for loop will control your iterations how many iterations i have to do so the iteration will be the length okay less than length or if you want equal to then length minus one so that that is uh, similar to this n minus one so this will run four times zero one two three and four <coughs> till four times it will run okay this will control the iteration now I need to control the passes for that I am going to use the uh, second uh, for loop that is the J in the J I want first I will pick the first element to now I want to access the this second element so so the in the array the these are the like this so first element will be on 0, second element will be on 1, uh, third will 3, 4 and this will be on the, uh, sorry, uh, 
7 will be on 2, 6 will be on 3 and this will be on 4. So I will take the 0. This I will 0 and I need this next element of the I. So I will put I plus 1. <coughs> then the same condition uh, will follow by the length ferret and the J plus plus. Now <coughs> so So this for loop will control the iterations and this for loop will control the passes in each iteration. Okay. So here I will write the swapping logic. So for to swap between two variables we can do using the third variable. So I am using the third temporary variable. Okay. In the temporary variable first I will fetch the second element uh, no no I, before that I have to put the condition so I will go if if number of second element if the second element to which is this is the i plus 1 if I take i 0 then j if the second element is greater than the first element <coughs> if the second element so if you say number of j if you don't know how the array works so first go for the array that how, how the array works then only you can understand this logic so if number of j if in j i have that first the for loop will come to the zero then j will come to 0 plus 1, 1. If the 1, so what is the 1 value? The 1 value is the 5. If, uh, <coughs> if uh, the this value is greater than, if i, sorry, if the first value is greater than second value, second value, then I will do the swapping. For swapping, I will first I will pull the uh, <coughs> uh, second value. So where is the second value stored in the J? Now the J second value is empty. So I will fill the J and I will store the first value at the place of the second value. Now. The sec, uh, this number of i that is the first value is <coughs> empty so I will write uh, i and I will fill with this temporary variable which holding the second value correct so this is the uh, swapping logic ok you can easily understand this one it's very easy the first for loop will control the iterations the second for loop will control the passes in each iteration correct so once it will check if the first element that is i <coughs> if the first element is greater than to the second element then we will pick first second element it will store into the temporary variable now the second element place is empty and will store the first element at the place of the second element and now the uh, first element is empty where we will store the temporary variable which is holding the second variable correct so once this uh, loop is completed then we will uh, print so again I will go for the for each loop ok <laughs> again I will uh, pass this uh, array ok And I will pass the number, then plus, I'll give some space. 
between them and one correct so sorry okay so if i run see uh, uh, okay so before sorting i have 9576 and after sorting i have this value so uh, is this value is matching with this one see a uh, three five six seven nine three five six seven nine so same thing <coughs> so this is the pro is how it internally works so uh, this is the pro correct so the i value will be over this one uh, you can make it i zero and i one okay i one i two this is iteration three so zero to three means the fourth iterations we are going to follow and in each iterations this is your i and in each iteration this is the j how many times j 1 2 3 4 okay so this is the bubble shorting and this is the program for the bubble shorting it's a very simple program uh, again i'm going to explain first uh, I will fetch the length of this array which is I am going to short using the bubble short. So the length uh, <coughs> I will call the length on the array it will give you the length and after that I will uh, I'll write the one first for loop that will start from the zero it will be the lesson of the length. So if in array it will go to the zero to lesson of the length it will go to the uh, 0 to 4th and in each first the value will be i in i the j j in the first the i value will be 0 okay after that it will come here and int j equal to i plus 1 so i plus 1 will be the 1 1 then 1 2 3 4 so how many times 4 times it will uh, the this inner inner for loop will, uh, will run four times under this i equal to zero so next time uh, i value will be plus plus and i value will be one then again this it will run four times so this is the flow how that uh, uh, works the for loop so if you uh, if, if it is difficult to understand for you that uh, i request you the first to understand what is the array how it works what is the index in the array second thing uh, you learn how the for loop works internally then only you will come to know and you can write the java program for this or if you have any doubt please uh, comment me uh, below this video thank you very much